So today we are reading Prema Bhakti Chandrika, verse 77. So today, uh, Suniti Didi is feeling not well still. So we are try to be uh, sharing in this Prema Bhakti Chandrika. And today our Radha Priya is reading from Switzerland. <clears> hey, <throat> Magori, Tanurai, Anki Dara Sana Chai, Rodana Koribu, Abilasa, Jala Dara, Dara Dara, Anka Ati, Manohara, Rupe Bubana, Parakasha. My eyes want to see the golden form of Rai and are crying out of this desire. Usna's very enchanting body shines in the world like a dripping rain cloud. Desire to see the below a deity. Suda, Danika, Yakya. In this tree paddy, Srila Thakur Mahasaya. So pretty, pretty, pretty slowly, slowly. slowly. Yeah. <clears throat> In this tree paddy, Srila Thakura Mahasaya passionately desired the darshana of his beloved Sri Sri Radha Krishna, saying, Hema Goritanu Rati Anki Darashana. Chai, Rodana Koribu Abilasa, meaning, I am always weeping, desiring to see golden formed Sri Radharani. Poets compare Sri Radharani's bodily luster with gold, but it is actually possible to compare the divine luster of this Mahabhava Mai with some transitory luminar, luminous material object called gold. In Radha Rasa Sudanidini, Sudaniti, Srila Prabhu Dananda Saraswati Pada has said, Gatre Koti Tadi Chabi, meaning that Sri Radha's bodily luster resembles millions of lightning streaks. But even this is a material lumina luminary, however okay. magnificent it may be. The luster of lightning hurts the eyes, but the loving luster of Sri Radharani's body shoots the eyes of the viewer. Therefore, Srila Prabhupada Pada has used the word Chabi. Actually, all these descriptions are only attempt to make people of this world understand that Sri Radharani's bodily luster is shining brightly yellow like gold or is a brilliant as the lightning streak. It was not mean to say that Radharani's bodily luster is literally like gold or lightning. Srimati's bodily luster of Mahabhava is matchless. Okay, let's stop it. <clears throat> so, This Narottama Dastakur Mahashaya who want to see golden form of Rai, Gata Rai. And a crying out of this desire. So this is many point. So if we, every day we are seeing sunshine in material world. 
and some scriptural thing. This sunshine. <laughs> Little bit. <laughs> the sound is coming. <laughs> so we are thinking a sunshine is coming from sun. That's also true. Well, sometimes we are thinking a brown majority light is coming from Brahman. That's true. But actually, some say, actually, from Krishna's body, every lightning is coming. That's also true. But the real sense, our Raganuga Bhakta, Raga Bhakta is thinking, all Brahma Jyoti, all light coming from Shurimati Radhika's lotus feet. From her toenail, every lightning is coming. Because Radhika is Krishna's energy. Krishna's energy is two-way. External energy <laughs> and internal energy. All external energy, all internal energy, its source is Shurimati Radhika's lotus feet. So this is Raga Nuga Bhakti, Raga Nuga Bhakta's its view. <coughs> and this Anandas Babaji Maharaj was saying, sometimes Guru Dev say, like a uh, summertime sunshine, we should not go out. Because hurt our body, hurt our eyes, hurt our skin. So very dangerous. Don't go out. But here say, Radhika's bodily luster, golden lightning, is not hurt our eyes. Here say, Radhika, uh, the loving luster of Sri Radharani's body soothes the eyes of the viewers. Because Radhika, all lightning also made by Mahababa. Mahababa is deepest, highest love. Nothing hurt. Now, many devotees is there from Japan, around 20 devotees is there. I was asking, so how do you feel in, in front of Radha Mohan? So you attend Arati, how do you feel? I'm asking them. Then some devotees say, or oh, actually, if we go in front of Radha Mohan, my heart darkness is going away. Some light, some pleasure is coming. Wow, very good. Some other devotees say, no, actually, I am feeling my body and heart and soul is cover of love. Just in, tone, in front of Radha Moha, I feel natural happiness. So, why is that? Because Radha Rani is full of Mahababa. Radha Rani's body made by Mahababa. Greatest love, greatest feeling. So this Anandas Bhavaji Maharaj say very important point. And also Mahasaya say crying out of this desire. What is this desire? 
I want to see the golden form of Srimate Radharani. A few days ago, we are reading Virapak Sumanjari. Then Anandas Babaji say, if we are not crying, if we praying, when I can see the divine couple, how can serve my Swamini? If in this feeling does not come in, we are not doing any bhajan. Actually, not real bhajan. So I start thinking, oh my God, we have, no, I have many desires, material desires. Then our mind cannot be one-pointed. I cannot cry because of ego, because of material desire. And if cry for this very strongly, that means we have strong greed. Narayan Maharaj said, to practice Raga Bhakti or to enter this Raga Bhakti, only we need one thing. That is Roba, this greediness. So this greediness and crying, I feel very similar. And also, I feel if we feel I have no bhakti, I have no prema, what can I do? So please help me. Please help me. When I can have this feeling, when can I see you? This great hankering, great crying. This is the only way. So we need the mercy from Rashka Vaishnava, like our Guru Dev. So this is a very uh, important uh, point, which I'm missing. <laughs> okay, then this Prabhupada Saraswati Padas, uh, Sangeetam Madhava, this. Srila Prabhutananda Pada has written Sangita Madhava 1.2 Nava Champaka Gora Kantibi Puta Vundavana Hemarupatam Bajakam Apivishva Mohinim Madura Prema Rasadide Vatam Worshipping this inconceivable world and chanting, presiding goddess of sweet Prema Rasa, who turns, who turns the blue environment of Vundavana into a golden Vundavana with her own golden luster, which shines like a fresh Champaka flower. Nothing can compare to the MCT with which we are loving devotees that are inclusively surrendered to the luster at Lotus feet of this young golden world enchanting presiding goddess of fresh Prema Rasa when they cannot see her. What is feet of the Lord's eternal associated like Sri Rupa Sanatana and Raghunata Sadhana Siddha, resident of Sri Govardhana, Sri Lakunja, Dada Babaji Maharaj, has written out of eagerness to see Sri Mati. Ha, ha, 
Daneshwari, tu javi cheva anali, niravadi prana, mora dipsi dipsi jivali, eduka sagara, hoi te udara koria, sri charane rako more, infari koria, heno dina, ti ho betava, sri muteravani. Carnete sunibu, ara nu purera, vani. Tomare lava nyamuta, nayana, tasake. Kobeva koribo pani, pana, parananda sutte. Agrana koribo, tava anga, parimala. Ula che purnita, hobe mora calevara. Hobe, tavo, cista muta, vive tufatori. Paia, tutarta, hobe, enava simpari. Tu mi mora, giappa saffa, tu mi mora, diana. Tanmavadi, Toma, Vina Nai Jani Ana, Kamsali Sahita, Tumi, Jayaya, Viahara, Vihara, Ukakori, Seistane, Moredasi, Koro, Kande, Vina Kusna, Dasa, Dante, Duna, Dari. Adilasa, Purna Mora, Koro Hema Gori. O Queen of my life, my heart is constantly burning in the fire of separation from me. Please save me from this ocean of sorrow by keeping me at your lotus feet and make me your maid servant. When will my eyes and ears hear the little words from your beautiful mouth and the jingling of your ankle bells? When will I drink the nectar of your indescribable beauty to the puffs of my eyes in topmost ecstasy? And when will I smell? your bodily fragrance, making all the hairs on my body stand on end. Please bless this new maid servant by giving her the nectarian food remnants that emanate from your lotus mouth. You are my Jaffa, you are my Anansi, and you are my meditation. And since I was born, I haven't known anyone but you. Wherever you sport with your lover and your girlfriends, please take me there also as your maid servant. Those the fallen Kusna Dasa weeps holding us true between his teeth and praying. O oh, golden beauty, please fulfill my desires. Yes. <laughs> so this Bravo Dananda Saraswati Pada, also Krishna Das Babaji Maharaj in Govarda, they are singing. At first, Guru Dev always say, most important thing, what is the goal of life? Who is my Ishtadeva? Who is my Ishtadevi? And who am I? What kind of relationship would I, would we like to have? This is at first we have to find out. At first, Sambanda, we need Sambanda. 
What is my relationship with the Lord? What kind of rasa, what kind of relationship we would like to have? What kind of prema we would like to have? How to attain? What is a way to attain this goal? <laughs> This Sambanda, who am I? Who am I is a very deep question. Because we are thinking, I'm this body. I'm such and such. I'm Japanese, I'm Indian, I'm European. We are identified in this body. But if we read Bhagavad Gita, we understood we are spirit soul. Even Sanatana Goswami asked Mahaprabhu, everybody thinking I am Skara, but I don't know who am I, care me. Please tell me who am I. Then Mahaprabhu said to Sanatana Goswami, Jibera Swarupa Hai Krishnera Nichadas. So living entities, real, uh, role of real, uh, living entity is Krishna's eternal servant. That answer is okay. But, uh, if we go, go more deep, then this answer does not satisfy ourselves. So, Jibera Swarupa, Krishna, Nityada. So, we are servant of Krishna. We want to have Dasharasa. We want to, we want to have relationship with Krishna. As friend, as parenthood, as a wife, as a lover, or maid servant of Radhika, what kind of relationship we would like to have? So Guru Devas was <laughs> suggesting at first we are surprising. We are reading Prabhupada Gita many times, but the Guru Dev is saying, page four, do you know Swarupa and Swarupa City? <laughs> you know, do you know soul's body? Do you know the relationship of the soul with, with super soul or Krishna? This is very critical <laughs> question. <laughs> and one day we are reading Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur's, uh, I forgot the name, some lecture of Bhakti Siddhanta. Then Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati say, Radha and Krishna, Radha Mohan has a spiritual body. So we want to see spiritual body. Well, we want to serve Radha Krishna. Then in this material body, is this possible? No, we cannot do this in this material body. We have to have spiritual body to see divine couple's spiritual form. This is a very interesting point. So we have material body, we have material eyes, therefore we can see material objects. But to see spiritual body of Radha Mohan, Radha Krishna, then we have to have spiritual body. The question arises, 
What kind of spiritual body we are? What kind of spiritual body we want to have it? Or what kind of relationship we would like to have it? That is very deep question. Then very few, a few people could answer in these questions. Then we are, if we read Chaitanya Charitamrita, then what Mahaprabhu want to give us? Why Mahaprabhu came to in this material world? Why Krishna want to what kind of feeling Krishna would like to taste? This is everybody knows. This Radharani's love and loving feeling he wants to taste. He wants to know what is the glory of Radhika's love. What kind of radika, what kind of a taste of Krishna? Actually, radika could taste the highest feeling with Krishna. Only radika could taste. So what is this? So Krishna has a question in Vrindavan pastimes. Because sometimes could not understand Radhika's feeling. Sometimes Radhika was sitting on the, on the knee of Moha. Or sometimes Radhika was, Radhika's pillow is Mohan's, Krishna's leg, no, no, eh, eh, arm. But sometimes Radhika hear some words, like Madhusudana is going. Madhusudana is gone. Some devotees, like Madhu Mangara, somebody said, some bumblebee came, then try to uh, go away, bumblebee. And then Madhubana thinking, okay, this Madhusudana bamboo is gone. Madhusudana is gone. Then this sound enter Shurimati Radharani's ear. Then he was completely mad, Dibyum Mada. So he was thinking, she was thinking, Oh, my Moha, my Krishna is gone. Then immediately stand up in front of Krishna. She became completely mad after Krishna. This prema by chicha. So Krishna could not understand what kind of love she has, what kind of craziness, what kind of Madanakya Mahababa, crazy Mahababa, crazy love she has. So Mahaprabhu could not understand, no, Krishna could not understand. So Krishna and then to understand Radhika's feeling, he, he has to, Krishna has to become devotee of the body. And he has to steal Radhika's feeling. And Radhika's body is not. So, he became Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he could taste blood of feeling. Therefore, Mahaprabhu's inside is Radharani. But also, Mahaprabhu not only feeling Radhika's, 
tasting radicals feeling. And Mahaprabhu tasting radicals made servants feeling. So radicals manjari's feeling. Mahaprabhu also tasting. This is amazing. The other day, we are a little bit discussing uh, Prema Birasa Vibharata. Prema Birasa Vibharata means Radha Krishna Lila becomes so intense. Radha and Krishna, they don't understand who, who am I. Then they exchange the load. And uh, this completely madness. And this madness, who can, who can see, who can feel it? Only third person can feel, see. This is Manjari, Kinkari of Sri Matera Dharami. And the other day, we are reading Birapak Manjari. And uh, that leader is uh, Krishna's decorating Radhika's hair, Radhika's body. So he want to, Krishna Moha want to uh, make some garland and decorate Radhika's flower. And Radhika's hair. Also, he put garland on Radhika's neck. At that time, Manjari was watching. And then, Krishna stand on, on the between the side, between the two legs of Radhika. And this Mohan's body was touching with Radhika. And that Radhika feel it, you know, some ecstasy. And then Mohan also feeling so much ecstasy. And then sometimes he could not hang him out. Sometimes this garland is broken. And this leader, Manjari, was watching. The our Krishna, no, Chaitanya Prema. Sorry, we are a little bit <laughs> outside <laughs> repairing. So, and at that time, our Chaitanya Prema is sharing. Mohan is usually Purushabhiman, means Mohan is enjoyer. But in this case, Mohan want to be Radha Dasi. But sometimes Mohan is not fixing sometimes. Sometimes Purishabhima is coming because of touching Radhika's body. And then hand is broken, you know, hand is like a trembling. And sometimes garland was broken. Sometimes concentrate in, in this seva, like as Radha does. So Mohan is 
is is sometimes feeling of rather than sick and sometimes become enjoyer. So sometimes this is this feeling is going back because his original position is enjoyer. But Radha Dashi's case, Radha Dashi has no desire to enjoy Krishna or no other desire to serve but Radha So Radhika, so Manjari the desire to just to, to please Radhika, no personal desire. So this Maha, Mahashaya or Krishna Das Baba also saying, I want to be Radha's maid servant. I want to be Radha's dasi. So this one pointness, this we have to learn. And without one pointness, we, 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 without fixing our goal, we cannot attain goal. So therefore, to attain goal, Guru Dev is saying, we need fix Ishtadeva. For our case, our Ishtadevi is Shurimate Radharani. And also we have to be Swarupa. We are Radha Dashi. We are Radha's Kinkari Manjari. This Swarupa Nishta. Then Guru Nishta. Our Guru Dev is our Guru Manjari. Who is very dear to our Sri Mate Radha Rami. So this, I feel this, this verse Krishna's Baba was showing how to fix and to fix if we fix it then this very much strong desire is coming hankering crying coming this express in this bus sorry i talk Can see Srila Thakura Mahasaya, who is the embodiment of Prema, wants to weep for want of Hema Gauri, Sri Radha's Darshana. The best means to get to see one's desired deities is to weep in great anxiety of separation. Such weeping is most relishable. Weeping out of separation from one's worldly friends is simply miserable. But weeping from Prema Mai's Sri Radharani is most blissful and relishable. The Goswamis have called Viraha Rasa. Prema has two bodies. One is meeting and the other is separation. It is needless to say that if Prema is an ingredient, then there must also be a special relish in separation. What's more? Srimad Sanatana Goswami has definite, defined the Viraha Rasa as even more relishable than the flavor of meeting. So this is uh, saying Surema is two body. 
Prema has two aspects. One is meeting and one is separation. We are thinking meeting is very good. I want to see Radha, Radha and Krishna together. That is true. But many times happening, meeting is good. But the external meeting is internally we don't know, internally meeting or not, or not. We are not sure. Sometimes, so we are together, friend together, or lover together, but uh, externally meeting, but thinking different way, feeling may different. Then that feeling the communication is not so tasteful. But uh, in separation the case, if some lover is separate, then we feel externally separation, but internally so much meeting, always feeling. So this weeping, crying means external, external separation, but internal meeting, internal connection. And this internal connection bring us to our Ishtadev, or Ishtadev. Some Acharya say, if we have million dollars, and we lost million dollars, then we become mad, crazy for money. Or if we have loving child there, if we lost child, we cry. We become crazy for losting child. <clears throat> but in our case, in my case, we don't have, we don't cry for Radha Mohan. Why we don't cry for Radha Mohan? Because of, we are not one-pointed. Our love is not strong. Our love is deviated. We have a pinpoint nature. Sometimes we think material thing. Then we think spiritual thing. Or sometimes we are, we all, all maybe Sakyarasa is very good. Next day, maybe Dashara is also good. The other day, oh, Madura Rasa good. The other day, oh, Saki Baba is good. The other day, oh, Manjari Baba is good. Our desire, our consciousness is always moving. And due to Guru Dev's association, I am slowly, slowly feeling it. This crying, if we have even little bit tendency to push abhima, oh, I am enjoyer, I am master, I know something, even little bit tendency have puffed up, or push abhima, I am lord, I am controller, I am great person. Even little tinge of this feeling, we cannot cry. Guru Dev is saying, if we want to cry, in this material, we have to, we don't, we should, we, if we have no desire, no material desire, and then, desire for Radha Mohan is strong due to association of Rashka Vaishnava. At that time, we can cry. And then, Goswami is feeling also, when the day will come, when I can meet our Swamini, when I can serve Swamini, 
Oen can nai. Si. Nikunja lira. This acharya oro se. Oen, oen, oen. They don't say, I'm seeing this lira. No, they don't say this. Oen, I can see. This also, I feel, this is Takuru Mahasya's very interesting. So, Radha Chalanji, could you share something? What? Huh? Oh. Oh. Now we are leading a little, you know, love is to expect meeting and separation. Oh. You know, this verse, Narutamada 77. Maybe you don't. <laughs> uh, Radhe Radhe, John Maharaj told something about um, how Radha Dasya is so pure, that mood of Manjari is so pure, um, complete concentration on Shemati Radhika's mood, mm. on her desires and needs. But I also know what, uh, from this point of view, I am a small child. And um, in one hand, child wants to grow up quickly, want be matured adult person. But uh, why I uh, anyway? It's it's my age. From for this age is uh, some symptoms. The uh, child is more selfish. He's accepting love, and by love is growing. Um, if. If it's not happened with me now, it will happen anyway, because it's just Shemati Radhika's will, her desire. It's not dependent on me. I want. I'm crying. I want. But it's not dependent on me. It's she will decide when and how. This is just what I'm feeling about this. Wow. Well, and now, our devotee, who has very how do you say it? now? I don't know. Maybe eight months, or I don't know. Maybe very baby, and uh, always with mother. And then sometimes baby will, you know, try to suck mother's breast. Then this baby become very happy, and then this baby does not move from mother. If they, mother, going away, then baby crying. Wow, this is actually, this is Manjari. We are like Radha's baby, small baby, or small, small, like younger girl. So actually, if we see mother and baby, oh, Gurudev saying like this, sometimes Gurudev say, Manjari, we are baby, we need breast milk of Swamini. At first, I was thinking, what breast milk? We are baby? Sometimes we are feeling like this, but actually we are baby. Baby means innocent. Baby means one pointed. Baby knows only mother. Even baby does not know even father. Oh my God, this one pointedness <laughs> we need. We are so grown up. Our mind is so deviated, but the baby is so simple mind. One point. So our Gorabani is there. I think Gorabani, my, my dear Gorabani. So please share your feeling and your realization. I'm sorry, I'm could I could not hear your your sweet words. I'm unfortunate. Maharaj, you're so kind. I have no realizations. But I can try 
to be a parrot <clears throat> and just uh, what I heard from other souls, great souls, I can repeat maybe. You made a very, a very interesting point about what Guru Dev said, if we cannot cry, we cannot come near. We cannot come near to our Swamini if we cannot cry. So if we don't feel helpless, we cannot reach the goal. So Mahaprabhu actually was giving us this feeling, or he tried to give us this feeling. In one verse, Trinata api sunichana taro api sahishana amanina manadena kirtaniya sadahari. We can understand that from a viewpoint of Aishwarya. Yes, you have to be very humble, you have to be very meek, and you have to be very patient like a tree and you know you can understand in Aishwarya and have fear but there's another viewpoint and that viewpoint is Mahaprabhu's viewpoint Radharani is crying after Krishna she is missing Krishna she's helpless and she's crying after Krishna. So the whole eight verses Chaitanya Mahaprabhu left are not about knowledge. They want to give us a feeling of want someone. It's a message of feelings. It's not a message of knowledge. And here actually Raga starts. If we cannot cry, if we don't miss anybody, how we can come forward on that path? It's not possible. Because I have no wish inside my heart to reach the goal. We can understand that even in this world, with other persons, like a baby crying for the mother. If the baby thinks, oh, I'm fine, I don't need mama now, then it will not cry. It maybe makes some... But mama will go on cooking or something, doing. But if the baby is crying helplessly, mama, immediately mother will leave all other things and immediately run to the baby. So in Sri Vilap Kusumanjali and also in Sri Sri Radhara Sulanidi, we actually can hear the crying of Srila Prabhupada Nanda Saraswati or Srila Raghunatha Goswami. And we have this example how we should actually feel helpless and cry. So this is the school of crying, actually. And we have to learn that. So this point you made is so important for us that we feel miserable without the help of our Gurudev, without the help of this Parampara, without the help of Nityananda, Anangamandri, and without the help of Swamini in the end. So without crying for Swamini, we cannot reach the goal. So that's why I think it's most important to understand Mahaprabhu's message, because he is in that feeling. Of course, it's Radharani crying for Krishna, and we want to cry for Swamini. But actually, our Swamini is showing us how to do it. We don't have to cry for Krishna, but we can cry like that for her. 
And she is actually showing us how to do it, in which way. So the Shik Shastakam, for me, is the best advice because it's not knowledge. It's pure, transcendental feeling. And if we connect with that, with these eight verses, then swiftly we will come into the feeling. Of course, we have to see it from the viewpoint of Gurudev, from the viewpoint of this parampara, from the viewpoint of Srila Prabhupada and Sri Raghunata Goswami. Otherwise, it's not possible. So, you were reminding me on that. Thank you for this. Jai Shri Rade. Rade, you want to share something? You again. So, this today's uh, our Radha Priya Didi is reading and just uh, came Birindavan and uh, she has, a, I think, a special, special some feeling. Mm -hmm. Very good devotee. First, excuse me if I make any mistake by reading. I'm actually also a baby. Well, I don't know how to express, mm. but I have this. The separation also if I'm standing in front, right? And I think maybe this is uh, this difference between this material and this transcendental uh, separation or meeting, right? And sometimes I feel the heart is like an explosion. In some minutes it can explode, and in the same time, some minutes after it can just feel very, very far away. And to 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 how you say how to gain with this or how to act with this is very difficult for me in daily life. So the one pointness, yes, mm -hmm. this is the way, really. Um, and I'm happy to hear every time again and remember when I read, listen from you all, Vaishnavas who are very long time already study this. It helps me to, I would say, reset, go again on the line where it is actually the goal and, and the source. So. Yeah, I know all of you, you you know already this, it's nothing new, but it's what I can share with you. It's, it's very simple. It's actually, yeah, it's there. We need just to, yeah, just to go inside and fix it. But it's very difficult, by the way, <laughs> in daily life, yeah. Thank you very much.